because we are the F2 champion of the world. I think we'll go with Alfa Romeo. So we'll have Zhou Guan Yu as our teammate. Let's have a look at the car reveal. Fuck it. All right. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to more F123 career mode. We are going to be doing our first race in F1 with Alfa Romeo, and I am ready for it, baby. Uh, Alfa Romeo F1 team, kick. Uh, follow me on kick, kick.com slash JPEG sound. We're starting uh, our F1 career near the back of the pack, and I'm very much looking forward to it here. Well, I don't know if it'll be near the back of the pack, but we're in one of the, the worst cars, at least. And I'm very much looking forward to this. I don't know how to change it before we go in, so I think it's once we actually go to race weekend, we'll be able to change to practice, qualifying, whatever we want to do. We'll see here. Found your workstation, then. Everything okay, here we go, yeah. I'm Francisco, by the way. A head up R&D for the team. It's great to have the okay, qualifying to format short. Sure we'll be to know but I can't change the race length. Moment. Oh, session length, medium. There we go. But now I want to be able to change the settings. Why is it so dark in this one, by the way? It's so strange. All right, I'm going to put strict corner cutting stringency on as well so that uh, make us race a little bit better. That's kind of what I want to do anyway. All right, I'm putting increased safety cars, increased uh, red flags just because it makes it more interesting. And then we are going to head out and start our little short quality session. I'm going to skip over the practice sessions and go straight to qualifying. I actually think you have to do the first practice session. I think you might actually have to do the full thing, but I'm just going to retire from it if that's the case. I, I'm not doing I'm not doing a full practice session right now. I refuse. I've already just played breaking point for like an hour and a half, and uh, it's hot as hell in my office. I'm not doing a full practice session here, right? I just refuse to. Hello, Hello Natalie. Finally to the hustle and bustle of Formula One. The F1 2023 World Championship is about to get underway. We cannot wait to get started. Last season saw the biggest raft of regulation changes in years, and we're excited to see more of that wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. The big question is, though, can anyone challenge the dominance of Max Verstappen and Red Bull? Good question. All the there they are. Working so hard to get ahead in the development race, looking not only at their own car, but those of their competitors. Thousands of engineers working hard back at the factory. We come to the racetrack and we focus on the 20 drivers at the pinnacle of motorsport. But it's important to remember this is very much a team game. And watching that technical battle unfold throughout the year will be fascinating as everyone looks to get to grips with these new regulations. Meanwhile, the F1 World Tour features all the classic highlights. Monaco, Silverstone, Singapore. Great to see all those iconic tracks back, but also a few surprises. Qatar is back after a year away and the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. The glamour of Vegas flat out down the world famous strip. I know all the drivers have been so excited about this one ever since it was announced. Okay, that is enough from me. Let's get cracking with the action. Hell yeah, let's do it. All right, my friends, qualifying is here. It looks like it's going to be sunny for qualifying and the race. So no need to worry about anything there. Uh, let's jump on in and let's see how we qualify in our first time out. Here we go. Park for many regulations. That's okay. We're going to go for a flying lap and uh, our first lap ever in the Alfa Romeo. Let's see this thing. Let's see what it's all about. All right, let's go, baby. Come on, Alpha. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful from the inside here, I must say. And I'm looking forward to this. This should be a banger. Let's just heat up the tires here if we can. And let's uh, let's go into this last corner with a little bit of pace. And go, 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 Power Rangers. Let's go. All right, first lap of the race. Let's see how we do. I would say anywhere in the top 15 would be a great success for our first race here. That would be mega if we could do top 15, but... Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we were down a little bit further back as well. Definitely with a lap like that, we're not going to be up there. That's for damn sure. That was not a good start at all. And that is going to be poor. Poor start, but it's okay. Need to get used to this one. I always struggle at Bahrain. So even if we qualified far down here at Bahrain, I'm not going to be too concerned about it. Because as I said, yeah, I always struggle here. And I think uh, better race is ahead for us, definitely. That is just awful. All right. get any sort of lap in first so we can uh, so we can improve on it this is an awful lap but it is what it is the Alfa Romeo definitely handles quite a bit differently so it's going to take some time and um, this is all about getting used to the car really this one here all about getting used to the car and just kind of um seeing where the race takes us from there our last sign sets the fastest lap of the race with a 132 and we are going to be well behind that but uh we'll see just how far behind we are up 
to fifth, okay. Not that many people have, have ran yet, but a 133.7. Let's see where we're losing time. Let's return to the garage and just have a little look at that. All right, session info. Let's see, are we actually faster than anyone? Yeah, we're faster than Nico Hulkenberg, but it looks like not everyone here has got a fast lap in yet. All right, we want to keep uh, a set of softs for the race tomorrow as well. So try and use another set and then try and make this our best lap, all right? Nicely done. Okay, come on. Let's go. We gotta beat our own time by a lot anyway. We're down to ninth now. Let's beat our own time by a decent margin here. I think we can go at least a second quicker, to be honest. First sector, we should already be five tenths up after this. Not even joking. All right, nope. We, we, I thought we took that much better, but I guess not. Purple sector one, what? Really? Purple? That's a little strange. I did not think that was a purple sector one. We're nearly a second up, holy shit, okay. We'll take it. Oh, Jesus, we went a little deep there, but it's okay. We got away with it. We didn't really lose any time, at least. We should be more than a second up on the end of this lap, to be honest, definitely. Feeling a lot more comfortable on the se second lap. Car is definitely a little bit... Uh, doesn't turn quite as nicely as the other cars I've been using. I've been using them in the F2 cars, to be fair, so far. It doesn't, like, turn... Like, you need to turn it more, I'll say. And the Connor Sport car I've been using in Breaking Point as well. All right, we could be up near the top five here or something. Be a hell of a lap here. Could be a hell of a lap. Let's see what we got. All right. Bang! Second! Holy smoke show! Second place! Okay, let's return to the garage. Let's uh, let's fast forward a little bit. See, I might have to turn the difficulty up. If we're, sh if we're second in Alfa Romeo, there's definitely gonna need to be something wrong here. Uh, for me to be second, like 100%, there's something wrong here. Let's try fast forward and see if people start overtaking our time. Can confirm I am staying second place here. No, okay. Seventh. That's still unbelievably good. At Bahrain, no less. Look at that. In our first race, we've qualified seventh. I need to up the difficulty for sure. <laughs> Definitely need to up the difficulty. All right, I need to put it up like five points at least. All right, let's 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 up it right now. I don't know if it will go into effect this race, but we'll up it at least by, by three points here. I don't think I can actually, can I? Put it to 74. All right, we'll try that. If we could score points in our first race, it would be a great success, but uh, I don't know if we should be looking up now or back or what. Great start. Great order. We're starting in seventh position. This is going to be mega. Let's go. Let's see about strategy. Strategy. I know what a strategy is. Come on. Don't be stupid. Don't play stupid with me. Nine on the short. Nine on the soft. Eleven on the medium. Thirty-one minutes runtime. Jesus Christ. Okay, these, these races are long, huh? All right, we'll go 21.1 laps. All right, we're starting in sixth. What the hell? Max is way back there. I see Ver. Okay, so Perez and Leclerc on the front row. Signs and Hamilton next, and then Ro Georgie Russell. All right, this is going to be an interesting one. We're going to have to slow down rightly here as we look to take this corner on. Oh, Jesus Christ! Wheel to wheel with Ocon. I'm going to let him by there. We'll let him by. We're back down into seventh where we qualified. That's okay though. Good start. I, don't, I wonder what started on softs. It's, a lot of people started on hards, actually. Quite a few people started on hards and are going, uh... That's an interesting strategy, actually. Oh, whoa, I was taking my eye off that to look at all the tires. Oops. My bad. Deep into the corner, but that's fine, because we have to go past Ocon anyway. We got Stroll behind us, Ocon ahead of us. Oh my god, I was I was afraid I was gonna hit him there and I broke so much earlier than the braking zone still. Stroll lock on and then we have Russell and Gasly as well, so those are the drivers we have to keep an eye on right now. Stroll behind us is on hard, so he won't be going for any crazy overtakes I'd imagine. Russell is on hards as well. Uh, they'll be going for a little bit of a, a different strategy to us. Oh shit, you fucking idiot. Ah, uh, that was my bad. Just got too aggressive on that. Let's see if we can get it back. Oh yeah, we can. Oh yeah, we can. We'll get that right back from 
from Little Lance Stroll. They're going to be coming at me now, though. We've built a bit of a gap. And uh, Ocon is two seconds ahead. Gasly and Stroll are going to be right behind us. Once the DRS turns on, we are going to be in trouble. And even before then, Jesus Christ, Ocon has much more straight... Wow, we got overtaken by three cars on that one corner. Jesus Christ, the straight line speed of the Alfa Romeo, not great compared to them, clearly. Uh, that was uh, quite embarrassing, actually, and we're down to 10th now. Wow. That is crazy. And now Norris is right on our back. And we're over a second behind the boys ahead. What the hell's going on here? Were we really that slow down the straight? Like, I know I had a bad corner right after that, too, but they all overtook me at, like, the exact same time. I, I did break a little early as well, I guess, but Jesus. That's kind of That's kind of nuts. First race is a little bit of a mixed bag. Of course, we've upped the difficulty now as well, so we kind of need to get uh, need to find find the right difficulty level. Clearly, uh, the qualifying it was a good lap, but I don't think it was a good enough lap to qualify in like seventh position over everyone and, and be second there for a while. We had uh, we nearly were on pole for a for a split second, provisional pole at least. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that 74 long term will be good for now at least. And we might have to bump it up if we get better at the game, but I think for now 74 is a good balance where we have to actually improve and get better if we want to be scoring in the points, you know, and, and our car right now is one of the worst cars on the grid. I think it was like down there in the bottom. It's definitely in the bottom half anyway. I think it was like maybe third worst or something. And look at the, yeah, the straight line speed is definitely a problem. Lando is, uh, is gaining, gaining, gaining on us there. And uh, we are just about within a second of line stroll though. So we should have DRS now on the next lap potentially, which will be great for us. Easton there, DRS, DRS has been enabled. All right, all right, all right, all right. Went a little deep into the corner, to be honest, but it's okay. As long as we don't let Lando overtake us here, we're fine. We have, D we have DRS as well, come on. Good stuff, good stuff, good defending. Wasn't ideal, but this whole start has not been ideal. We've went from 7th down to 10th. Yeah, Verstappen is closing in on us. If he gets past Norris, uh, we're going to be outside the points, honestly, because Verstappen is... It, we're going to be a sitting duck for Maxi Boy. So we need to get past Stroll if we can, if we want to get a, if we want to get a point out of this race. Let's see if Max is going to get Norris. Not yet. Definitely not yet. Okay. Stroll, I'm coming for you, boy. Lancey, Lancey, Lancey. This car definitely doesn't feel great to drive, though. We have some upgrades coming in, which will hopefully help us, but... Yeah, we're going to need to develop this car. It doesn't feel very good to drive, I'm going to be honest with you. And the straight line speed seems like it's absolutely awful. So, like, see with that. Every time I go start to go around the fucking corner, the car slips. Dang it, man. I stay past Lando. I'm not letting him get me. That's a problem, though, because he's at DRS now, and Max is going to have DRS. They're both going to overtake me by the end of the straight. Watch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at that! That is terrifying! I'm I'm breaking last. Can't really break last yet though, because you always go deep into this corner. God damn it, man. I'm defending, I'm defending, I'm defending with my life! God man! This is tough! We're holding out of this point for dear life! For dear life! Somehow we've managed to keep a boat behind us there. Uh, we're having to defend naughty now though, because this is just ridiculous at this point. Car doesn't want to turn at all for me, it feels like. It's crazy, man. We're only on lap four as well. It feels like I've been defending for ten laps already. <laughs> oh, Verstappen is past Norris now, though. Verstappen is past Norris now, and we don't have DRS here, so... We're probably going to have to let Max go here, to be honest with you. We're probably going to have to let Max go, which I'm, I'm okay with. Although he didn't get a good takeaway there, did he? No, he didn't, interestingly enough, so I can stay ahead of him for now. Maybe he's just biding his time recharging the battery or something, I don't know. But, uh, see, uh, see uh, the acceleration on this thing is awful, man. Uh, but, like, I'm just getting used to the car, and it, is, it does not feel very good to drive. It, like, compared to the Connor Sport and compared to even the F2 car, this one feels like it's going to spin way more than any of them. Like, it feels, like, so much tougher to handle. And I've been playing on medium traction so far in this game, and I've been doing fine. I haven't been spinning out really that much at all. Um, but this car is just different. Out for a male kick. It's just not ideal for us right now as Max Verstappen is looking to break late here and get past us. Not to be, but he's going to get us on the straight here anyway. And Lando probably will too, to be honest with you. Uh, I should have just gone, let Max go and get the RS off him. Because this is going to be a... Okay, all right, Max. Just take the take the bloody position. I'm not letting Lando pass, though. 
I'm not letting this bitch Lando pass me, alright? I love you, Lando. You're not a bitch, bro, but I, I just can't let you pass me, man. We get DRS off Max. That's massive. Maybe Max could drag us along to catch us up to Lance Stroll. That would be mega, actually. Because Lance Stroll is hard, on hard tires, and he's goddamn starting to pull away from me now, and his hard tires will be coming to life while my soft tires are starting to drop off. So yeah, the 20 laps definitely makes uh, makes more options available for um, for strategy, for sure. Max Verstappen is too quick for me here. I think I'm not going to be able to get inside DRS zone by the time this DRS detection zone is there. We are not, and Lando's going to be able to get us here as well. This is tough, man. This is a tough race for us so far. We've gone backwards, but it was to be expected. We overqualified our position, for sure. We overqualified, and... Um, we're going backwards since, of course, and I've upped the difficulty as well. I didn't want to be want it to be too easy to get points right off the rip, you know. And I think that the difficulty in F2 was decent because we were battling for the lead, but we don't want to be getting a podium in the Alfa Romeo on my first race or something crazy like that, you know. I want it to be a real challenge and a fight for points and a fight to get the car better and a fight to get the team up the leaderboard and up in the constructors getting points and stuff like that. Guan Yu Zhou, yeah. See, we're back where our teammate is now. So if I'm out qualifying and out racing my teammate, that's what I want. That's what I want, difficulty-wise. I don't want to be like a second ahead of my teammate and battling Max Verstappen and fucking um, everyone else. You know, I want to. Um, I want to be battling the guys I should be battling. All right, Lando's not quite going to be able to get us here. Max Verstappen is catching up to Lance Stroll at a rate of 90 here. Um, which is good for us. Hopefully he'll be able to battle with Lance Stroll as we get a warner for, warning for corner cutting there, which makes sense. Um, good thing it's only a warning. I think we get two warnings before we get a penalty. Because I put it on strict uh, corner cutting stringent juice now as, as well, so it's going to be a lot tougher. Wait, why was there a the yellow flag in sector one? What happened? Okay, clear. Why is there a yellow flag? Do we know why there's a yellow flag? Okay, oh, flag, please, shit! No, no overtaking, please. We'll see you in the pit. What line. happened? Red flag? Who crashed? The red flag. A major incident has occurred on track and a red flag is in effect. All vehicles have returned to the pits while the incident is dealt with. Tires may be changed during the stoppage and some types of damage may be repaired before the race restarts. Okay. The rest of this race. How much laps is there left? Do I go on hards? Should I go on hards or should I go on mediums? Then we have 13 laps left. Okay. All right. So it's going to pit me automatically, is it? It's giving me the free stop here. Advance. Am I going to be on the mediums now? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. Let's go. I'm assuming everyone else pitted as well. Good start. What? Why is the safety car out? What happened? What happened? We just had a red flag. We got up to seventh though, right off the rip there. <laughs> we need to catch up to the safety car. What the hell just happened? All right, maybe I shouldn't do increased safety car and red flags. Because that has just caused chaos. I don't know why there was a uh, why there was a safety car in the first place, though. Was did someone crash? What happened? Oh, there's someone on track there. Who was that? I don't know. Did they just not clear up after the red flag? <laughs> Is that a possibility? They just didn't clear the th clear anything up after the red flag. They put us back out, and immediately there's a there's a safety car. Yeah. What the hell? That's weird. That's actually what happened. Because that there was no way that guy could have been there already. <laughs> They did a red flag and just didn't clear the track. That's actually fucking comedy gold. Holy moly. That's hilarious. <laughs> they did a red flag and they just did not clear the track at all. The guy was still just sitting there at the side of the track before the restart. <laughs> oh, that's actually funny as hell. That's actually hilarious, man. I can't believe it. Ah, I got caught out a little. No, I think we actually did okay. I thought we got caught out a little bit. We actually did okay. All right. More We're closer to Ocon than we are to Gaslia, so that's a good sign. On the inside, we clip Hamilton, Hamilton's wheel. We do get the overtake done. There's a yellow set, yellow flag again. We get past Ocon up into six. Let's go. We clipped Hamilton's wheel, but everything everything else worked out. It's okay. Is DRS not going to be back on for a few laps either. That might help us, to be honest, because. Uh, with DRS, we're sitting duck here for not a second within Hamilton. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to keep up with Lewis Hamilton whatsoever. So we're going to have to back up the rest of the pack here and just hope upon hope that we don't lose too many positions. As I said, a points finish would be absolutely mega here. And the red flag and the safety car 
back to back have definitely helped us there like big time helped us out there so i think i'll put the the red flag back to regular and i'll leave the safety car and increased for the uh for the career mode because i do like a good old safety car red flag i thought it would be i thought there'd be more to it than that but i guess not all right Ocon is all over the back of us here he's going to be going for it at the end of this drs zone you'd have to assume and yes he is here he comes we get a better exit there though a little bit more pace and i don't think he's going to be able to quite get us just yet all right, let's see if we can keep Ocon behind for another couple of laps. I think that we can defend well enough to keep these two Alpines behind for a little bit longer and then just focus on solely getting a point or two, I think, by the end of the race. They're eventually going to get me, no doubt about it, because they're going to have DRS, they're going to have ERS, they're going to have a slipstream the whole time. They're going to eventually get me, um, but if we can hold them off for as long as possible, then we'll create a bit of a gap. Just hope that no one else can get us. Max Verstappen, is that him back behind Gasly now? That's a little bit worried. Yeah, see, DRS is enabled now. This is when they're going to be able to get us. This is when they're going to be able to get us. He doesn't even have DRS yet. He's already pretty much got us here. That's a worry. But once we get overtaken by them, if we can stick with them in DRS, that would be mega. He's going to have DRS here. Shit. And we struggled coming out of there. Use the ERS. Uh, all right. Okay. We're okay for now. Do, 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 do. Max Verstappen. Do, 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 do. When we get overtaken by one of them, we're going to be in an Alpine sandwich, and we're just going to have to try and keep DRS on the other one, you know? That's the goal. Keep DRS as many points as possible on the board here. Early days for Alfa Romeo, but uh, it would be magical if we could. Nicely done there. Nicely done there, but Ocon is coming. He's coming with a vengeance here as Esty. My Esty bestie is coming after us here. Where's Alonso, by the way? I don't think Alfa Romeo or Aston Martin are doing too well in this race at all, so maybe they don't have the updated car. I think I just saw Max Verstappen making a move on Pierre Gasly there as well. Yes, I did. And now I'm scared. Max Verstappen, we're not going to be able to stop. The Alpines, we have a better chance of fighting. Um, as Esteban Ocon comes at us with a little bit of DRS here. He's still not gaining that much on us, though. When we have ERS on, we're quick. I'm hoping Ocon is going to have to focus on defending from Max rather than attacking us. And then we can really focus on just building a little bit of a gap to Ocon and Gasly while Max is overtaking them. Obviously, Max is going to get us as well, but it looks like Ocon is going to be focusing more on attacking me as he is right behind me now. Uh, come on, Max. Come on, Max. Yes, Max. Let's go. Take him out, Max. Take him out. I meant overtake him, not take him out, guys. Come on. What kind of man am I? All right, Verstappen is past Ocon. And that's what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted right there. Ocon coming back at him and fighting him. Exactly what I wanted. What I don't want is them both overtaking me, though, at the same goddamn time. So I am going to have to break late here. And breaking late on this corner is the worst possible thing because you have to go so deep into the corner and then come back around. And it's just a mess. It's just an absolute mess. But we've somehow managed to keep them both behind us. We're stepping an Ocon fighting away together. And this is perfect for us. Absolutely perfect. We'll stay in P6 for now, which is an incredible achievement, all things considered, that we're P6. And, uh, yeah, absolutely mega drive so far. Let's see if we can keep this up. Okay, gap ahead is 6.6 .6 seconds. Wait, I thought I was P7. No? Was I P7? Got to save our overtake here, unfortunately. Even though Max is going to be coming at us here. Coming at us with a vengeance as I just veered off track while I was looking back at him. Need to stay focused here. There's only six laps left in the race. I need to stay fo laser focused for these six laps. If I don't end up getting points now, it would be a bitter disappointment, to be honest. It would be a bitter, bitter disappointment. We're going with serious pace around this corner. We are full throttle around that corner. And now Max Verstappen is going to be full throttle down this straight and looking to overtake us here. Max Verstappen is going to get us on the straight here, you'd have to imagine. He's going to get us on the straight here. I think the difficulty's right. I think the difficulty's right. We're, they're definitely faster than us, but we're, if we can defend really well, we're able to keep them behind for short periods of time. We might have to turn it up a little bit, maybe, but I think for now, this is a really good difficulty. And there you go, Max Verstappen steamrolling past us with a good helping of DRS. And we just managed to avoid contact with Max Verstappen, to be honest. All right, DRS on Max Verstappen. Ocon has it on us. I'm not even going to bother going for the overtake here. I'm just going to let Max drag me along. There's no point in trying to overtake him because we're not going to be able to stay ahead of him regardless. So I'm just going to play the long game here. We're going to try and get Max to drag us along in DRS and keep us ahead of uh, Esteban Ocon. Maybe we can even build a second gap against Ocon, but Max looks to be pulling away now, to be honest. And he is probably going to just fire up the road and maybe get closer to Hamilton than he is to us, to be honest, as we 
struggle. I'm not gonna have. Oh, I just missed the detection zone, did I? I'm not gonna fucking have DRS here, man. Oh, we're sitting up now. Ocon's going around. Ah, we're fucked. We're fucked. We fucked it all the way in two corners here. We still somehow managed to get ahead of Ocon there. I think he back backed out of that. Yeah. Our DRS on Max, we didn't we didn't get it at all. We got it for that one zone and that was it. Max is pulling away now as we lost a second there. Just realized I pulled a second over Ocon. And Stroll's got into ninth. No, Gasly, yellow sector. Okay, clear. Yellow flag for what? I went deep, I went deep. I was talking about how I pulled a second and I just lost it all there in that corner. You absolute moron. Why is there a yellow flag again? What's happening? There's yellow flag. Oh, Logan Sargent is out of the session. Is there going to be a safety car? I think the race is over if there's a safety car. Oh, I don't think there is going to be. Okay. I wonder if there's a thing where you've already had one in the section that won't do it again or what? I don't know where he's parked either. He might be parked in a perfectly okay location. But we would have had a safety car by now if we were going to have one, to be fair. So I don't think we are. As Ocon and Gasly storm towards us, we have four laps left to hold on. Look how many people we're holding up here. Like, this is a crazy line behind us. Gasly and Ocon, yeah, fight, fight amongst yourselves and let me stay ahead here. We're definitely holding the pack up with some serious Albon-like defending here. This is some Alex Albon shit here, just holding up a massive gap, but I think that it may be about to be broken through now. Pierre Gasly has enough pace to get past his teammate Ocon and then to get past us as well, and Stroll is looking to do okay, the same thing here. This is going to be bad for us. Form. It's going to be bad for us. Is this really about to be a triple overtake? No, it's not. I won't let it. I won't let it be a triple overtake, okay? I simply will not let it. As Ocon looks to batten me out of it, I won't allow it. I won't allow it, okay? We're down in ninth now. We need to get a point at least. And speak of Albon, he's there in 11th, coming up on us now. He's talking about the defending, and then it all just goes wrong. But to be fair, it was coming. Okay, it was coming. We were keeping them behind with pretty much nothing to work with. And uh, now that we have DRS... We might be able to work with something. If we can get within a second here, we have to get within a second of Stroll here. We have to, or we are done. No, we're not. We're not within a second. God damn it, Gasly's going to get us now as well. Ocon saw that. Sorry. Stroll and, and Gasly both got past Ocon and me in the space of one straight there, so that was pretty impressive from the both of them, to be fair. But yeah, we need to get within a second here, if we can. Good racing there. Good racing there. Come on. Keep going now. Get a good, good exit from this corner, and we're good. Yes, we're within a second of Stroll. Eat up that ERS if we have to, to stay within DRS range. I don't give a damn. Yes, beautiful. Really nice racing there in that last sector. Really nice stuff. And then we're going to have DRS here against Stroll. And we'll use that to defend against Ocon. Ocon's actually over a second behind us, so we can use it maybe to attack Stroll if we need to. Maybe we can get back eighth position. All right. Come on, boys. No more mistakes from here, and we'll have a points finish. That's what I wanted, right? That is what I wanted, so let's keep it going. One more bullshit. There's no room for errors here. Ah, uh, see, I have to be careful because if I get one more track limits, I get a penalty. So I have to be careful not to go off track there, unfortunately. Definitely hindered our uh, our time there. I have to be a little bit more tentative. Because I think I'd rather lose a second in the corner than lose three seconds with a penalty because all these people behind us, there's no way we finish in the points if we get a penalty. No shot. Already in ninth, so... No chance, man. Oh, we somehow got a second on Stroll there. Tell me I'm within a second here. Tell me I get the RS here. Is there, with their dick, dick exit from this corner, I could get him maybe. Yep, we got the RS. Nicely done. He's way up there already, though. I had a poor exit that time. To be fair, Stroll had the RS as well, though. He's not really making inroads on Gasly at all, though. Like, he has DRS, but he's not hes not quick enough to try and overtake Gasly, it seems like. I think we're just going to have to settle for 8th there. If we can defend Ocon, we need to get DRS again from Stroll if we want to defend Ocon, though, because it's a little bit worrying. I think at minimum we'll be getting a point here anyway. I don't think Norris has the pace to really compete with us here. It seems like Norris has fallen a bit back. All right, Ocon will have DRS here, but he's way too far back to make a move on this occasion, at least. We're catching the car ahead. Well done, but be aware these tyres need to get us to the end of this race. Yeah, there's only two more laps left. We can wear these tyres out if we need to. To be honest, I'm not sure we have much left in them. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. 
Gasly and Stroll came and went, but me and Ocon are forever. My SD bestie here. We're racing him hard the whole way. We've kept him behind for the majority of the race. But he's got DRS here now. Two laps remaining. I'm starting to feel the heat here. I've been racing for nearly two hours more, maybe. I've been doing breaking point down. I've been doing this. I'm sweating like a like a hooker in church, and we are struggling now. My shoulders are sore. Uh, I need a rest. I need a big old rest after this race, and I need a refill of water. I am absolutely gasping as well. This has been incredible stuff here. I didn't realize I had ERS on. Oops. All right, one more lap to hold on. Get ninth place and two points on the board in the first race here at Bahrain. It's been a, a mega success story, really, for, uh, for Alfa Romeo. But Alcon's going to give it all he's got to get past us here on the last straight. Let's see if he's going to be close enough to make a move. we got to use our ERS. I don't have much. We have 7%. Esteban Alcon is making a big move. He's making strides here. And we are going to struggle to go around this corner with the tires that we have right now. I was struggling with perfect tires, so we're going to struggle with these tires. And Alcon now is coming at us big style, is he? He's going to have DRS here. But he's not quite going to be close enough to make a move. And that... Could see us through to ninth place. There's not really too many over uh, overtaking opportunities until the last straight now. The back straight. And this one down here, it's not really an overtaking opportunity for the AI because they're so bad coming out of the corner. So we should be okay there. But we just need to focus on keeping him behind us now. Just focus on defense, defense, defense. Obviously, we're not getting uh, Lance Stroll or anything. We just need to focus on defending Ocon here for the last lap. Been a valiant effort, boys. It really has. We've... We've drove the bollocks off this car, to be quite perfectly honest with you. But Ocon is going to have one more chance to get us here. And Norris is actually in on the act now because we backed Ocon up into Norris. That's how slow we've been going. Uh, we've really had to defend, defend, defend most of the time for this race. And that's just simply because the car is not quick enough to compete with these guys um, on, on raw pace. So we've had to place our car in the right places on these corners for defense. And we've done it ever so well. Sergio Perez is the race winner here in... Uh, in fine style, Max Verstappen had a good recovery uh, race from down in 12th. I don't know what happened to him, but uh, that's going to be good enough for ninth place for Alpha. That's a hell of a race, boys. Points in our F1 debut. We were F2 champion. We've got points on our debut. And Alpha Romeo are off to the perfect start. Come on. What a race. That took everything in me. That took absolutely everything in me. Sergio Perez uh, is on for a win. And then I think Ferrari might have had a double podium. Sergio Perez wins. Leclerc, I think, was in second. And then Sainz in third. Russell and Hamilton in fourth. And Max in sixth. Okay. Max Verstappen's the driver of the day. Sergio Perez is now our new points leader in the Drivers' Championship. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Wait, what? Just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Did I get a penalty? As championship leaders. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. So be sure to join us for the next one. What happened? I got a warning on lap six and lap eight. Lap eight. It doesn't say I got a penalty anywhere, though. It doesn't say I got a I got a warn. I got two warnings. It never told me I got a penalty. Not one time did it tell me I got a penalty. What the fuck happened? Why did I lose time? Incidents. Yeah, I got. Look, I got two two warnings. It doesn't say anything about a penalty. I think this shit glitched, man. That is shame. That is a real, real shame, to be honest. But what can you do, guys? Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. We got two points. We would wait. Where did we finish? We finished eighth. I think we finished eighth, so we would have got four points. Wow, that's cruel. That is cruel. My favorite are the fast circuits. All right. I was confident. I didn't have no doubt, but I was confident. Thank you. No worries. All right, guys. That's where we're gonna end the video. I mean, I'm. Uh, let's see what came in actually. Which failed and which? Wow. Wow, pretty much everything fucking failed. <laughs> and that is a real, real shame. A real shame. All right. Well, we head to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix with no upgrades. Or was there one that was successful, rather? But thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you want to see more of this F1 career mode, please do drop a like, show support. That's the best way, best way to let me know that you do enjoy the content. We'll be back with more uh, in the very near future. I'm off to Spain, so this will probably be the last video for a few days. Apologies if there's a delay on the career mode. But we've made it to F1. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out. Break.